this is a squirrel. Um, that is my dog. <laughs> and this is the Osmo. Okay, so I thought I would get started by showing you what this thing is like in the Osmo. Uh, Amelia is going to go out and take some photos with me today. She's a photographer. She goes, to, what's the name of your university? AUT. AUT. She's got scholarships. Great young photographer. So we're going to go out and, and hang out and and uh, like play with the Osmo, okay? Let me start by showing you like what's going on here. You can probably see how it's really steady how I move it around, right? This is made by DJI, the same guys that make all the quadcopters. It's basically the same kind of camera that's on the bottom of the Inspire. And they basically inverted it and put it on top of a stick. All right, it's super high res. Hello, there's my son. Hello, Ethan, how are you doing? Aren't you looking smooth on camera right now? I am recording a video. <laughs> see this contraption I built over here oh I didn't really build it this is uh, you're supposed to put an iPhone in here right but my phone is too big um, and won't fit in there so I usually look at it with an iPad and watch live video um, what I've done instead is I took a lavalier mic and I kind of ran it out here and put a little um, thing on here to protect it from the wind um, it does have a built-in mic but the built-in mic is not really that great and you can kind of hear the servos moving all the time. And so that's why I moved the, the mic out here so that you couldn't hear the servos so well. All right. So it has a few features here. Um, let me show you some of those features by first putting it into selfie mode. So I'm going to click this thing t three times. One, two, three. And it turns around and looks at us. Yay, selfie <laughs> mode. Okay, but I'm going to use selfie mode to kind of try to show you some of the things on the on the device itself, okay? So this is a joystick, and I can move it up, down, left, right, okay? Um, I can use this to take pictures. I use this to start recording. All right, so very basic uh, features. There's more features when you touch on the iPad, of course. All right, so now if I do a double click, it'll spin around the other way. Boom, boom, there it goes like that, <laughs> cool. So now as I turn it, it's gonna slowly pan, all right? One of the other features is if I hold this down, hold down the trigger, then no matter which way I aim it, it just keeps kind of looking the same direction. So you do smooth pans and all that kind of stuff. All right, so that's kind of what the thing feels like. It's super steady. Uh, we'll go out and do some testing with it, take some photos, and um, see what happens. Is that a good plan? Good plan. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I just came up with a plan, so thank you. <laughs> all right, uh, testing one, two, three. Um, Amelia and I are on the way up to Coronet Peak and just over the edge to see Skipper's Canyon. And right now we're just doing a mic test. All right, here we are. We're going up to one of my favorite spots to take photos. It's um, it's only about a 10 minute drive from my home. Uh, we're going up to this mountain coronet peak. Uh, not a bad drive at all. Uh, here, I'll flip around the camera so you can see what I see. A little double click action there. Um, yeah, that is the, the valley. Way on the other side over there is the Remarkables. Um, over here is Arrowtown. Um, over that little hill to the right is Queenstown. You can see a little bit of Lake Wakatuku right there. It's a little windy up here. I say it's about 15 miles an hour. I've got the little mic on with a little dealio, you know, with a little foam thing. So I don't know if you can hear me or hear the wind a little bit. Uh, we'll just take a few shots up here and move to the second location. What are you shooting with there? Sony A55. A55. How do you like it? Love it. Yeah. It was my first camera and it's so easy to use. <laughs> yeah. I'm shooting with the A7R. By the way, Sony is not a sponsor. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. I want to make a beep sound every time I mention a product that's not a sponsor. All right. Isn't that pretty? Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the video and I'm going to switch into photo mode. And I'm actually going to take a auto bracketed series of five shots from minus two to plus two. All right. Here we go. So I just asked Amelia her longest flight from here. She does paragliding. Actually, her dad is an amazing paraglider. Yeah, I got into it. <laughs> yeah, and I I've done only 15 solo flights. How many have you done? 35. 35. Almost yeah. 40, yeah. And your longest flight was an hour. Yep. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So we take off from that that peak right up there, Cornet Peak, and kind of fly down towards um, Aerotown. My house is right down there, and I almost am good enough to take off there and land at my house. I thought that would be so cool, like land at a party and like just strip off my my jumpsuit. I'm wearing a tux underneath. That when I was be... really young, my babysitter um, 
she was paragliding before she came to mine and to finish off her day she just took off and landed in our backyard and that, right. that was her grand entrance that's a pretty rocking way angel. but yeah that's an awesome babysitter all right uh we are now at our next stop uh, this is a really cool place now we're over the hill into um skipper's canyon uh, you can see behind me how beautiful it is out there it's really great um let me flip the camera around so you can see we're going to follow this little path um, and there's this really cool rock outcropping and there's just no bad photos in fact i think i'm going to take a quick photo here and then uh, move down a little closer and by the way see what is on amelia's back that is the really cool dji uh, hard clamshell and inside of there is the phantom three that we're gonna pop out any second now Yay, we'll make some bad decisions with the quadcopter. All right, so now I'm just kind of walking along in a normal gait. You know, it's kind of rough terrain. I'm not trying to hold it super steady or anything. It's uh, it's on its uh, default settings. Um, you can go in and adjust the gimbal however you want to. Um, right now it's just all the default settings, but you can make it so it's even more flowy, and more smooth. Um, I seem to like the kind of default settings that I seem, they seem pretty good. And honestly, when I go into some of the gimbal settings, I don't really know what they all mean. So I was kind of scared to touch it. All right, so here's what it's like on the inside of this quadcopter. Let me aim it down. I'm going to use the joystick now to aim it down a little bit. I think it's... Yeah, wait, flip it over. Sorry, I didn't instruct you very well there. So you can see how the whole thing is just perfectly snug as a bug in a rug in there. It holds uh, three batteries. Uh, you can't put it in there with a battery on there. It's too big, but a lot of extra blades. Um, there's the remote, and yeah, there's room for a, the charger right there too. But of course, I I just have the charger at home. Yeah, it's great, it's super convenient, and I can I know this is supposed to be an Osmo review, but as long as we have this here, I might as well talk about it. Um, I can get it out of the box, out of the backpack, and have it up and flying in about four minutes, and I can break it down and get it back in there in about three minutes. So it's super convenient. Time, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, in time. <laughs> All right, welcome to the voiceover part of the Osmo review, in which case you're not currently seeing me use the Osmo, you're seeing me fly the quadcopter because that is also super duper fun. Man, this thing is just so buttery smooth, look at this. This is one actually shot at 1080p and 60 frames per second, uh, but played back at half speed. So it's uh, just so smooth, I can't get over it. What a fun, fun toy this thing is. Um, yeah, I can't recommend it anymore. Uh, people always ask, which should I get the Inspire or the Phantom 3? I, I have reviews on the site, and I kind of give different reasons for each kind, but I kind of prefer the, the Phantom 3. So this is a little bump test. Okay, you can see how bumpy this road is as we're, uh, as we're leaving, and the camera is just buttery smooth once again. Um, yeah. Now, I do have one complaint about the Osmo, although it might be my fault. Um, this part recorded without any audio, and so did one other file. And that's happened a few times before, okay? I don't know why. Okay, here's a little sneak preview of another Osmo-centric video that we're working on right now. If you just subscribe to our YouTube page, you can be sure to see it for sure. Uh, this is a really fun day. Um, we took part of our crew out, that's Curtis and Ruby, and we spent the day all over the South Island of New Zealand taking photos, a lot more quad action, um, actually, this day we were out there with a, a Hasselblad, this new Hasselblad, really cool camera. Uh, but you can see here as I spin this thing around how smooth this is. Again, um, this is a really cool area of um, New Zealand. This is on the other side of Queenstown. Um, yeah, man, this tool is so fun to play with. I cannot get enough of my Osmo. I think I'm just going to record more and more of these videos. All right, you guys. Well, that brings it to an end. Hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you think.